Hello everyone! Apologies again for a long break since the last update, but as you can see, we have been working really hard. This first batch is almost ready to be sent. We are just waiting for the last lot of stickers that would hopefully arrive this coming week. The first batch is for people who ordered from the Kickstarter as Early Birds V1 and V1 Double Pack. At the same time we are making a revised instruction manual for you as a lot has changed in the Encore design since we made the original one. What comes next? So next up are all Kickstarter V1 D orders. Early Birds, Kickstarter Special and Double and Five Packs. And on that subject have a look at the new frame design. As mentioned before, the frame will not have a deliver function. The idea worked as a principle, but unfortunately it was far too dangerous for your CPU and it was impossible to make it compatible throughout all LGA 1151 CPU families due to different CPU heights. Your end cores will arrive in these custom-made specially engraved wooden boxes, thanks to Optlaser company who kindly gave us one of their industrial standard laser, which was used to engrave the boxes and now is daily used for lots more. We will at some point post an independent review of it. Have a look at the OptoLaser website, they are running Black November offer right now. And have a look once again at the amazing finish of the boxes. Going back to the frame, Kickstarter V1D backers, your surveys will be in your inboxes now. Please let us know which color of the frame would you like, red, blue, black or plain aluminum. And make sure your address is correct. At last, we have a surprise review for you, made by Peter from Adventure PO, an overclocker who is very, very well ranked at hwbot.org. This is his profile. He supports us as a professional overclocker and reviewer, helps us to improve all the designs and does bias testing. He did an honest review of the Encore and gave us lots of advice how we can improve the design. We would not be able to finish this project without his help. This first part of the review is about the current version of the Encore prior to the nickel plating. Peter tested it five months ago when he first placed it on his CPU and now he tests it again, so stay tuned. I must say that I'm impressed with this uh, water block. And on direct dye, there's a big difference. It's like 7 to 8 degrees on 5.2. And please don't hate us, we are trying our best to make sure that all the orders are sent to you as soon as possible. Thank you!